We're just over a week away from the total solar eclipse. It may be the only one you get a chance to see, so you want to remember it forever. What better way than taking a picture? It's really an amazing experience. It is a very, very powerfully moving one. Jeff Sager has photographed a total eclipse before. He took these photos in 2017 in Tennessee but he's got some equipment the average person won't have. So I have an actual astronomical telescope mount, which will track the sun okay. across the sky. Okay. So if you have something like that, that works. But you can still get a good shot of the eclipse. Jeffrey Milhouse with Midwest Photo tells me you just want to make sure you have the right equipment for your camera. Well, what you want to do is get a solar filter. And what the solar filter does is actually helps block the light that's entering the lens and body. You can take the filter off during totality, but make sure the filter and and your glasses are back on before it's too late. No amount of time is safe, so you don't really want to aim a, a lens directly at the sun, especially a telephoto lens, for any amount of time directly at the sun, because that could cause damage. But what if you don't have a decent camera? Will your phone work? A lot of times, if you're shooting with a wide lens, like your cell phone, it's not going to damage it. Whether using a phone or a camera, a filter is a good idea. The experts recommend a tripod to get a stable photo. It won't last long, only about three or four minutes if you're in the path of totality. Not long to get the shot of a lifetime. The birds stop singing and nature gets really quiet, and so therefore you get quiet. You can see the shadow literally coming at you, and now all of a sudden it's eclipsed, and you look up there and it's a dark now, but the, the corona, which is the sun's outer atmosphere, is, is shining, it's shimmering, and it's really an amazing experience to see.